jacket. Anybody seen my denim jacket? That is the third bug I have killed the day. Toast's about ready. I think I forgot to give them the Murphy's phone number. You gave them everybody's phone number. Next time, you might as well just hand her the phone book. <laughs> They'll be fine. Don't worry. Oh, you're right. You're right. I should just forget about it and enjoy myself. So, have you got your acceptance speech all memorized? <sighs> what acceptance speech? You know, the one you were practicing in the shower. Fellow journalists. I, I prepared I, a few <laughs> general comments just in case. <laughs> well, you should have. You did tremendous work on that story. Thank you. I agree. Why'd you bring this? Looks like rain. What are you doing here? Oh, I was on my way home. Been answering phones at the counseling center. Thought I'd give you a lift. You took the job? You're not the only one around here that's been learning humility. <laughs> so that's what I've been learning. <laughs> that's what we've both been learning, kiddo. Not a lot of fun, huh? No, but it's something we all need. God gives strength to the humble, but he flattens the hot shots. Mama. Papa. No, Papa, you were wrong. No one could deserve what they're doing to me. For 1,483 days, they've held me here. 1,483 days of black bread and rotten cabbage. 153 of those days in the camp's internal prison. Continuous solitary confinement. The last 138 days here in Shizo. The worst sort of punishment. No mattress. No light. Temperatures in the 50s and... Me and only my underwear. Oh, never leaving the cell for up to 15 days at a time. Sometimes I cannot help but ask, God, is it not yet time for me to die? For 17 years, I've kept peace in our home by letting Marty put business first. By accepting pats on the head when he had a minute and presents when he didn't. And when one of Rob's friends got caught smoking grass, Marty dragged Rob out into the backyard saying, You want grass? Fine. And he starts shoving real grass down Rob's throat. There were dire warnings at the time Prop 13 was passed. I remember that all kinds of services would have to be cut and that the state would fall apart. But taxpayers know differently. As does Senator Pete Wilson, who's joining us right now. Senator Wilson. In your opinion, has Proposition 13 been working or should it be scrapped? 